Jack, what do you do for a living, Jack? I work as a merchant. A merchant? What? <laughs> what are you, fucking Marco Polo? What the fuck is going on? You're a merchant? Yeah, I sell spices in Indonesia. Yeah. Just got back with a shipload of cinnamon last week. What the? Who calls it that? Yeah, I went to the apothecary the other day. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? You buy grain from farmers. Okay. You just let you could just decide what corn costs, kinda. Could you make it a little lower? <laughs> it's pretty high. Uh, <laughs> Jack, quit jacking up the prices. How do you get into the merchantile, mercantile business? <laughs> Good. Glad you control the strings of the economy. Uh, <laughs> Levi, what's good about being you? Uh, sort, of, sort of like that, but iron. Iron is the most. And then it comes down to me, and I burn my hand. I burn <laughs> Were you both born in 1835? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Yeah, I cornered the grain market and my friend smelts. Uh. <laughs> you're serious. You're, what's your name? Shane. Shane. And you're Muslim. <laughs> you convert Islam for her? That's awesome. I thought, I actually think that's cool as hell. You know the five pillars? You don't know the five pillars? <laughs> oh, it's strictly for the pussy. Uh. <laughs> I converted strictly for the gash. Uh, <laughs> I think Mecca's that way? I don't know. I kind of in it for the labia, dude. Uh, <laughs> the five pillars of Islam, uh, blowjobs, handjobs, anal. <laughs> Those are the only types of sex I know. Reverse cowgirl. Uh, <laughs> he faked Islam? I don't know if that'll work after you die, but I think it works during life. I don't think Allah's gonna be like, oh, you got me, dude. <laughs> Didn't think I'd see you here at the pearly gates. Whoa, nice one, Shane. Didn't expect that. Uh, <laughs> I created the universe, but I never saw that one coming. <laughs> this guy's gonna fucking get it now. This guy's been safe and comfy the whole fucking show. But this is be, <laughs> be nice. Oh, oh. God damn it, lady. This is gonna be on the Cap Times tomorrow. Cis white man berates a third first generation immigrant till he starts crying in the front row. What three other languages do you speak? Spanish and Catalan. Oh, are you from Spain? Yeah, Catalonia. Oh, Catalonia. Do you think you wanted Catalonia to be its own country? No. Oh, you love the Spanish thing. <laughs> Even like the Nazi alliances of the past. Uh, <laughs> Even the Francisco Franco tyranny for 40 years or so. The bombing of Guernica, you know. Yeah. I'm very smart, sorry. Uh, I know about all your transgressions. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I like the way you talk. Just say a few things. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know why I don't believe in God? Jesus died when he was 32. I just turned 30. What? 33. 33? Oh, man, you really. That was a very. You were like, don't talk about Jesus like that. He died at 33. He also wasn't black. Uh, <laughs> Not my J dog. Uh, <laughs> How old are you? I'm 21. Yeah, what? Are you in college? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Are you? Wow, I like the respect you show me. Actually, <laughs> I really like that. Do that a couple more times and you might see a little cum dribbling out of my pants. Uh, 21 year old man, what's your name? Chaney. Your first name is Chaney? They say that, you know, it was not you're 21, yeah, it could yeah, easily be. You were born like right when we invaded Iraq. They're like, this is a good idea and our child shall bear this on his name. <laughs> Everyone's gonna associate our son with destroying weapons of mass destruction 
Forever. No one will remember the lies. <laughs> What's your name, man? I'm Joe. Joe, I like your vibe. What's the best thing about being Joe? Are you running for alderman? What the fuck was that? We're all Joes. Joe Smo. There's no race. There's no gender. There's no creed. We're all Joe Schmoes in America. <laughs> Joe Schmo, you're the everyman. Uh, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I hope we're all not like you. <laughs> Kidding. You're an attractive man. What, uh, what are you... It sounded sarcastic, but I think the lighting's not great. Uh, <laughs> Joe, do you think you're a little gay, maybe? I am. Uh, I'm not saying I can't. I think I'm about 20% gay. I think it's. I think. Uh, no, definitely not. Uh, no, I have fucking standards, Joe. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna have my first one be a five. Uh, <laughs> you with your son or daughter right there? Both? Nice. I love that accent, dude. I, what? Uh, where are you from? South Carolina. And this is your wife, girlfriend with you? Yeah, girlfriend. Does dad approve? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's white. <laughs> what do you do with your life, Liam? Work at a theater company for disabled people. A theater company for disabled people. <laughs> Well, Liam, what you just did to me, it's called cucking. <laughs> you just cucked me in front of all my friends. Now, now you're the fucking good guy. I lost the moral high ground, and now the show's kind of fucking over. You help disabled people learn the art of theater? How, do you think I can make this funny? <laughs> what plays, what kind of plays are they putting on? I'm trying! Austin, what are you up to, man? What's going on? Liam, are you a reader? You like to read? Yeah, what do you read? I, I saw the Lord of the Rings tattoo and I decided to say nothing. I decided to say nothing. <laughs> oh, you're giving me a specific recommendation. Oh, wow, I like that. Yeah, nice. Sorry. Rick Rubin's last book. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll write that down. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Rick Rubin, Mother Pencil. Uh, definitely read it. The disabled theater guy loves it. <laughs> Are you a drunk, Liam? You're trying to get better? Are you hungover teaching disabled people how to do theater? That would be one of the coolest things a human's ever done. That, that's true, wow. Okay, you kind of want to... Uh, I was going to have a bad riff, but I'd, you kind of want to, like, have the... Uh, I can't do it. You kind of want to, like, get down to their level, be drunk a little bit. Uh. <laughs> I made it funny. Fifteen minutes later, I said I would do it, and then I made disabled theater kind of funny. I think